Tilapia. So I was doing this video and it cut off because of my alarm and all this stuff. Not too happy about that, but it's all good. Chantal Anastasia here with the Urban Gurvy Mama Shop. And today I'm making a cut and clear bath using home ingredients, things that you can buy from your local grocer. So what I was doing before my phone cut off was I have fresh rosemary that I dried. And what I'm doing is that I'm taking the rosemary off of the stems. I'm going to show you guys in a minute. And it's going to be in my bath, obviously. So I'm just about done. I have five lemon and one lime. I actually had these lemon on my shrine for Oshun. So what I did was, because I change out her lemons often, I wanted to reuse it and not just throw it away. So that's why I have this denomination. But normally I would say three lime, three lemon. I like working in threes when it comes to spiritual baths. Alrighty, we got the stems off, looking good, looking good. So right now I have this basin. And it's good to go on Amazon and get a basin just for your spiritual needs. The basin shouldn't be used for cooking or for cleaning. It should just be for spiritual needs. And I like using blue, represents Yemoya. You know, she's the mother of the seas, mother of water. So this is my rosemary, right? I'm going to show you guys real quick. These were the stems that I came with, so I took them off. All right. So you can use any... Um, herb from the mint family so you can do basil you can also do thyme I my spirit was drawn to rosemary so I was like bet we're using rosemary keep in mind if you use rosemary it's gonna be a little bit of a mess in the bottom of the tub all right so I have my rosemary in here I'm gonna start to squeeze my lemon in there everything should always be done clockwise clockwise right and what I do is that I turn it inside out like so, and I put it in the bucket. Because when I add the water to it, these lemons are going to stay, right? Clockwise, squeezing this bad boy. Woo! Bam! Same thing. You can say whatever psalm. I'm going to say the 23rd psalm because it's my psalm for peace. Or you can say, since this is cut and clear, um, I believe psalm 2 was good for removing enemies. Sam 100 is also good for enemies. Boom, almost done. I'm actually excited about this. And I'm making this for my boyfriend and I, so he's going to take a spiritual bath as well. Ooh, I'm splashing. I'm ready. Ugh. Ooh. Ooh, if you have paper cuts or cuts in your hand, just get a... Uh, a pair of gloves. I don't. So I'm Gucci. Woo! It's taking some strength. And at the end of this bath, you're going to feel the difference. A lot lighter. A lot happier. It's going to lift your vibrations. If you had any bad eye, bad wishes are kind of like on you, it'll go. Alrighty. Almost done. Ugh. Ugh. You really want to get the juices in there, so really squeeze it. You got to put your back into it. Ugh. Woo! All right. I forgot to cut this one bad boy, so I'm going to cut this real quick. Woo! My arms hurt, but it's all good. Eh. One more? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm excited because I haven't made this in a very long time. All right, all right. I like to put my hand in there. I'm getting messy. I hope you guys can see. I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer. And I think I had a paper cut or something because, woo, this bad boy's stinging. Hold on. I'm going to move this bad boy down so y'all can see. And we're going to move this. Oh, yes. You guys can see a little bit better. Move this around. You know what's funny? In India, they use a lot of lemons to cut bad eye and wishes. I believe they cut it in half and they put it a circular around their head. And what they do is they take two halves. You throw one to the north and one to the south. So if you go to India, you'll see so much lemon on the streets. 
<laughs> they know what's up. They know what's up. A lot of my work in my spiritual shop has Punjabi influence because my godparent in Cuban Santeria told me that my lineage ancestors are actually of Punjabi descent. So a lot of Hinduism actually is in my work. So I will, I'm what you would call an eclectic witch, right? Not your traditional. I do, I do fuse different um, cultures together and it's what my spirit draws me to and he confirmed the reason. Alrighty. I feel really good about this. So I'm going to be added now salt because remember we're cutting and clearing salt. So this is a mix of sea salt and Himalayan pink salt. And honestly, I don't measure. It's by how I feel like spirit wants me to put. So I put a good amount. I'm going to show you guys what it's looking like. So you can see it a little bit better. Can y'all see? This is what we're working with right now. Right? It smells actually really good. All right. Let me get a paper towel real quick. I will be right back. put this bad boy up because I'm about to talk to y'all so I have this bath now so I'm gonna bring my cart Ooh, this is my little cart so I'm gonna be adding Ruda remember clockwise Ruda Ruda gets rid of negative energy um, as well as bad eye I'm gonna be adding I have a uh, this is a contra uh, and Navidad. Envida, sorry, Envida. So it's for envy, protection from envy. Adding a little bit of this. I add it before the water. I do things a little bit differently. And I'm going to be adding some balsamo tranquilo. You know, it's funny. I used to be a New York City bartender, and I feel like I'm doing the same thing, but now for a higher and a better purpose. So I'm not serving people things to make you forget your problems. I'm serving things to help people get through their problems. Woo! So I'm gonna put some of this in here. I need a little bit more. Okay, I need a little bit more. Is this squeaker? I guess I don't need a lot to spare. It's not letting me grab a lot. Put that in there. This will feel good, guys. And I have a little bit of Ilegua oil. I'm gonna put that in there. All right, move this cart back. Now what I'm gonna do too, uh, I have some calorie. Everything I do, I add calorie, I love calorie. I'm adding four calorie, right? And what I'm thinking is that at the end of the bath, I'm gonna take the four calorie and bring them to the crossroads. Don't know where that came from, Spirit told me to do it. All right, this is what we're working with right now. Let's see if I can. This is what it looks like. Y'all, it smells really good. It smells fresh. It smells light. What I'm gonna do is add, um, fill this basin, and I'm gonna put it with uh, spring water, and I have a stand, and I'm gonna let it sit, because I want it to get stronger, right, as time goes. 